This is an unboxing of the brand new Lena Cup Sensitive. Hello everyone, it's Red Herring. I hope you're having a great day. I know I don't normally uh, have any videos scheduled for Fridays, but I did promise that as soon as the Lena Cup came in, I would do a video of it and also a squish comparison. If you're looking for the squish comparison, I will be uploading that at the same time as this video, so it should be up if you're watching this. If you find something helpful or interesting in this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. First of all, I do want to apologize. Uh, my son and my husband are home right now. My daughter just left to work, but anywhere that I go in the house is going to have some kind of, of noise. And I hope that my camera is not picking up all of that noise, but if you can hear it, I am sorry. Let's get on to uh, unboxing this cup. I did notice that this uh, got shipped out of New York and uh, on the packages on the inside or the, the boxes on the inside it does say that it is made in California. The sensitive boxes are a little bit different than uh, both of the other previous cups that they released and so I'm going to go ahead and hold up each of those packaging uh, boxes. And so here is the Lena Original, here is the Brie Lena version, and here is the sensitive version. It looks like all the printing on these boxes are the same, but I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick turnaround of the uh, newer box, just so that you can see it, uh, in case you haven't seen any of the other boxes yet. So, um, my original box had a big decal on it, and I think I purchased it from Amazon, but this whole area here was covered, so I'm not sure if this is actually under that sticker or not. Here is the inside of the box, and I'm going to bring this up closer so that you can pause your screen if you want to read it. Before I get to the cup, there is a cotton pouch, a really well-written instruction manual, and a card that was at the bottom of the box. I think it's just supposed to stay there, but it, it can be removed. You can see here that there is a link or a website uh, to visit for a 15% discount. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this uh, link in the description below. You can use it for yourself or share it with a friend. And here is the Lena Cup. It is the same great quality, same design as the original, just quite a bit more soft. When I actually grabbed for the Lena Cup Sensitive, I was very surprised at how soft it was. I wasn't expecting it to be this soft. And it probably really isn't uh, very, very soft, but it's a big difference than their original Lena Cup. It does feel uh, probably about 20 shore rating uh, softer than the original and I mean I'm not an expert and I don't know exactly uh, what the shore ratings are for the Lena Cup but uh, in my personal opinion no, uh, having some of these different shore ratings on hand uh, I would say this one was probably about a 30 or 40. The softness of the Lena Cup Sensitive is probably closest to the Juju Cup or the Flare Cup. The, it, the way that they feel um, when I have both of them in, in each hand is very, very similar. If I closed my eyes and you mixed them up, I probably wouldn't know which one was which. Another cup that I was kind of testing it up against was the Super Jenny and I would say uh, the invisible rim on the Super Jenny right underneath that top rim, uh, if you squish that it's kind of similar to that uh, invisible secondary rim. Here are the two different sizes, small and large, and they're exactly the same size as the Lena Originals and the Brie Lenas. 
That's all I have uh, for the unboxing and introduction of the Lena Cup Sensitives. I will do a squish test of the um, small Lena Cup original and the sensitive and also in the large sizes as well. I'll go ahead and leave both of those links at the end of this video. If I missed something or if you had additional questions, go ahead and leave them in the description below. And if you have a cup that you want me to compare the Lena Cup Sensitive to, go ahead and leave those in the comments below as well. Until I see you next time, take care.